We basically doing what we are basically doing is that we are training uh, cadets from ab initio, meaning that from the beginning um, to uh, fly a fixed wing aircraft. Uh, it consists in two parts. First of all, we teach them the theory part of uh, the, um, the, uh, the piloting, and after that, we go to the simulator, and after that, we do, to do the practical on the real aircraft. So we started the, the, the school in February 2018, so it's been a year now, um, and um, so far we have 32 students. Um, there are, most of them are from Rwanda Air, so we are training future pilots for Rwanda Air, the national airline, and it's part of the strategy of the government um, to ensure that there is synergy between the companies, the subsidiary, uh, being Akagi Aviation and Rwanda Air, we are uh, in charge of actually making sure that capacity building in aviation is actually uplifted and to, uh, to close the gaps that is there into that um, field. You have to understand that Rwanda Air has more than 150 pilots. Um, only 32, I think, are Rwandan. And we needed to get that number a little bit up. So it's in, in line with the strategy of the airlines in order for them also to have a, a much more sustainable growth. Right. When are we expecting the first uh, graduates to, to enter the workforce? Um, by the end of 2018, we, 2019, we should be, uh, we should be narrowing the, uh, we should be having the first maybe intake out uh, if all goes well. You know, we have some, a little bit of constraints operating from uh, Kigali International Airport. So it goes with what we call slots for you to be able to do circuits and and uh, for the students to learn, uh, which would go much faster if we were into a different field where we could take off and land um, as much as we can. Right. So how do we expect, because we remember when Rwanda made this initiative to make sure that we're relying less on, on foreign pilots. So since then, has there been any change or is this going to be the first change? Well, it's a first step towards uh, realizing that, uh, closing that gap. We also intend to go into uh, training aircraft maintenance engineers uh, for uh, Rwandan to be able to maintain the aircraft that we uh, were purchasing or we were um, buying uh, for the national airline. So it's in line with the strategy of government to ensure that we have a sustainable um, uh, growth for the airline uh, that actually take into account uh, capacity building uh, as a key pillar into uh, having a successful airline. And how exactly is this going to impact the industry for us here in Rwanda? It will impact in the industry tremendously because the, the aviation industry in Rwanda is growing. We don't have a lot of people with the skills in aviation and we needed to narrow down that gap. We believe that by having more people trained, uh, we will be able not only to develop the such experience as Ethiopian Airlines, uh, that are not only uh, pilots, uh, you know, that are doing the flying the aircraft, but at the same time maintaining them. It takes time because um, you need to have not only flying hours for the pilots, but also experience on the aircraft for the maintenance uh, uh, maintenance personnel. So it will take time, but it, we we, st we need to have started already. So I think it's a positive uh, evolu um, evolution that we're seeing, and we believe that. It will be. Uh, it will pay off at some time. Tell us about the helicopters. We're seeing them everywhere in tourism, health, security, mm -hmm. all across. It's become an industry in itself. What plans are there to grow that? Are there any plans to nurture that that industry? Well, definitely. We we are trying to diversify our line of product by offering not only charters, but at the same time medical evacuation. You mentioned security. Yes, we do uh, have uh, a collaboration with Rwanda National Police when it comes to surveillance. But also at the same time, we um, we also do still do uh, helicopter pilot training, um, uh, be it for the Air Force, one an Air Force, or for any other countries that are interested. Uh, as a matter of fact, we have had discussions with the different delegations that are here that are very interested into our helicopter training part, and we believe that. Uh, this, the, the good thing about this kind of gathering or this kind of summit is that it's actually, it, it helps you open not only your network, but at the same time, 
making sure that uh, some deals can be done uh, right. when it comes to that. And I believe it can be a win-win for all parties. Are there any other investments coming up from Akagera Aviation that we should be watching? Or are there any big ones that we should know about now? Yes, we are very interested in um, developing our capabilities when it comes to drones. Um, I believe that there's some, um, the drones are more and more used into some of the things that the helicopter was doing. So if there is, uh, we look at the, bo uh, the bottom line, if, there is, if it makes business sense that we can actually use a helicopter for certain operations uh, that doesn't put a pilot in the air, why not contemplate it? Um, we believe that AI is the next thing to, to, do, to be in, um, and putting drones and AI together, we can actually develop a very, um, a very interesting uh, line of uh, product, not only for the national security, but also, also for the different players in the market. And are you also considering the sustainability angle for that, the environmental um, footprint? Yes. Definitely, definitely. The, the environment uh, print is actually very important uh, in the sense that it's um, the drone not only there is no fuel involved, there is no, uh, it's not noisy, um, uh, it can do a very efficient uh, work that a helicopter wa was doing. So we believe that uh, we, we care about, we, we take that seriously, yes. And finally, I know that we've kind of just gotten into the Aviation Africa conference, but has there been anything uh, so far that you've taken away as a key thing, or are you looking forward to anything um, throughout these the next uh, days? I think the, um, uh, the, uh, the speech this morning by His Excellency was a very big, um, uh, uh, very big for me in the sense that he, he touched upon things that are extremely important, which is the, um, the collaboration between nations. Uh, the airlines and the, is the link between uh, countries. And if we have an open sky policy and if we will ratify the uh, uh, Saturn that we mentioned, uh, if African countries were to ratify the Saturn, all of them, we believe that...